see that shirt you like that i i love this shirt we had to have a shirt at work that was an emoji right so i decided to wear that i'm feeling happy on a friday hope you guys are too my name is jeremiah nickel i'm from the kansas city area and uh just a quick ethereum uh video i am so pumped up and i know that i always seem to be right uh, but uh, I'm not a coder or a developer. I'm not even really a trader. I just try to read what I can read and understand what I can understand and participate where I can participate. And and so I know I post quite a bit. Like just, I feel like I'm I'm unlocking achievements as I go through this space. So yesterday I opened up. Uh, I figured out how to get Akasha working on my computer. It was very simple. There's three different ways you can download it off their GitHub page. It's a, there's a Windows release, a Linux release, and a Mac release. And uh, so I got it installed, and I was poking around with it and let it all sync up and made sure everything was working. And I, then I realized here at work that uh, I didn't have my private seed for my account because I had already opened one up. Uh, at my on my home computer okay so maybe I should back up originally I put it on my home computer but I didn't do anything with it but I, I did start making my profile well then I figured out it's just like any crypto you need your private seed okay so it's it's like a blog posting site it's the ability to tip other people I mean we've been missing change tip I like change tip I feel like that I feel bad that they're kind of they closed up shop um, but I, I haven't really found anything like it for Ethereum other than just to send somebody some ether or whatever. <clears throat> I'll talk about that in a second. I had another good experience yesterday with that. And, and so <clears throat> I, I, I team viewered into my computer at home and I got my private seed and I, uh, restored my profile here at work. And what you need is your private seed. If you have a profile, you need your private seed. And you need to remember your password. And so I typed in this blog entry and uh, it, it just kind of came to me uh, from another Reddit uh, user who was talking about uh, how quietly development's taking place in Ethereum. And man, I love that. I, it is. It's like, it's like snowfall at night, right? It, it, the euphoria of knowing that you're going to have a snow day. I'm a teacher, but I was a kid once too. I'll tell you a story, and this is this is a true, true story. And those of you that live in northern latitudes, you, you, you'd be like, oh, wow, big boy, awesome. I lived out in northwest Kansas, and when I was eight years old in third grade, we had two blizzards in a row, and we got uh, three feet of snow. And we were out of school for two weeks. And I remember the night that that blizzard was coming, it was not quiet. There was actually lightning and thunder. That was a rare, rare. I haven't seen it since, right? It's that rare to see lightning and thunder. Anyway, we got dumped on the snow, and it, you know, it wasn't quite like Ethereum development. It was very much with big fanfare. We were sledding off the top of our school. The, the snow was so high. And so what I feel like with the, the parallel with this is that there's so many uh, interesting dApps and coding going on you can't even keep up with it. And somebody else posted in that same thread, it's like the network effect is happening. The network effect is occurring with developers, okay? It's not It's not really with the public yet. And it, and it may not be for another year because it's hard to code. I, I can't wrap my head around how how you all learn to do this stuff. It's It's amazing i'm sure in the struggle of learning it it was very difficult but the progress that you're making is just it's layering up it's like snow falling at night quietly but for a very long time and it's like when there's gonna be a snow day <laughs> there's, gonna be a, there's gonna be a snow day at some point uh so like if a 40 year old music teacher and uh uh entertainer can can in, install Akasha and get it going and know how to move the profile from computer to computer safely. Well, some would argue TVR is not a good way to do that. Um, but anyway, I think it, I think it's amazing stuff. Now, 
what it spurred me to think about when we talk about Uport and the I identity type of thing, the Akasha with being able to blog post and, and have uh, copyright and stuff. And I think Akasha is going to be able to do kind of like a web-based thing. So, you know, ideas of MetaMask get, in, get, you know, thrown around in my head too. There's so many like of these dApps that are starting to intertwine and couple together. And then, of course, you got the ledger, right? The idea that you can, I think there's a way you can um, do the, uh, what do they call that? It's the identity piece that the ledger does. I haven't got that far yet. So <clears throat> this is kind of giving me um, some ideas that when all these things kind of come together, that you are in control of your money. You are in control of how you can pay people. You are in control of charging other for uh, talent, such as like, um, you know, uh, freelance work without a middleman, right? You're in charge of your identity. You're in charge of the personal seed or the private seed to your content. You know what this starts to think in my brain is patenting. The idea that you're, what you create is locked in time on the blockchain in a way that's irrefutable. It almost, to me, negates lawyers to, to an extent. It cuts out a lot of crap, right? If you could say, no, I published this idea with the express copyright in, you know, 2017, and here it is the year 2020 or something, it's there. It's all there, but it comes at a great responsibility, right? Like you have to be in charge of you in a way that is even more important than passwords, because imagine carrying your whole Facebook history. I mean, your your password is important, but now you're in charge of, of storing that and being safe with that. Uh, so I don't know if that's just very convoluted or uh, if I'm on the right path with that, but I feel like um identity and proof of concept and and putting this stuff out there in a way that is irrefutable and immutable is it's pretty that's pretty cool stuff it doesn't take a lawyer in a court of law to prove that a transaction happened on blockchain right i mean i guess you're gonna have to pay at some point because that's a legal system at least in the united states but <clears throat> It, cut, it cuts through the mountain of evidence quite a bit. Oh, so <clears throat> I'm friends with this kid that's over in the Netherlands. And uh, I don't, once upon a time, I was working on an on a, uh, altcoin called Hyper. It was, was going to be a gaming crypto and all this other stuff. But I still stay in communication with some of the guys from that on Bitcoin talk. <laughs> Whew. And uh, <clears throat> so this kid is probably 17 years old, and we Skype every now and then. And he's he was picking my brain, because I told him, I'm like, I moved on. I'm, I'm into Ethereum now, and I'm mining it. He's like, well, what's Ethereum? And I'm, <laughs> oh, boy. And, uh, and so it was pretty cool to have a conversation with him and get him started. And I was talking, and this is right at the moment I was doing the Akasha thing. He's like, wow, you got a, there's a way to do blogs and everything pegged to the blockchain. I'm like, yeah. And he said, well, what, do, how do I, uh, how do I do the wallet thing? I, I, he was telling me he was trying to do mist. And I said, dude, that's going to, that's like 80 gigabytes of chain data. I said, do the parody. While we were talking over the course of like 20 minutes, he had the parody up and running. I pulled in my ledger and I sent him an Ethereum. And when I was typing my reply, I said, by the time you read the end of this reply, the Ethereum's probably going to be there. He, and he responded, yes. I said, that's not the fastest it's going to be. It's going to be even faster than that with higher, you know, amounts of transactions per second. And so the light was really coming on in this kid, you know, 17 years old, I'm assuming. So the reason... I mentioned that is because with all these little pieces that I'm putting together in my head with the Akasha and getting everything up and running, 
uh, I see that the youth is probably not going to have a hard time with this. And I think thanks to the advent of incredibly difficult video games, these kids know how to find and figure out stuff, right? I mean, they we, we did it in the 80s uh, with uh, Metroid. <laughs> uh we we did some of that stuff so you know when they say it's got to be turnkey and user friendly for the average ordinary person well just just look at how much smarter the average ordinary person is with technology i say smarter as people are taking selfies that only last seven seconds on snapchat or whatever um but i'm saying that there are a lot of intelligent folks out there that can get it going Akasha is just one example. Most most of these dApps, I think, are going to be able to plug in and make it very normal, like a website, you know, where you might plug in credit card information that then gets quietly converted over to Ether to, to work the system. I don't know. I just, I'm in love with the development teams across the space. I know there's bad actors out there, but man, there's a lot of good 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 people out there putting in a hell of a lot of time and i appreciate it because it really is it is a very liberating feeling to know that you can control content the way that uh it's possible uh, i made a chart it's a fancy chart all right so it's a fancy chart and then uh it says today over here somewhere yeah ten dollars 55 cents and then we're going to be back to donut level by april 1st and if we're not, I'm going to say April Fool's on April 1st. But that's a donut. And uh, sorry if you don't like that meme. Uh, I didn't come up with it. I just ran with it. I like it. Donut level, for any of you guys that are new, is $13. Like a baker's dozen. Um, I don't have anything else. I haven't made a video in a while. Things are going pretty good. i got a busy life. I don't get to uh, post as often as I'd like. I don't know if this information helps you or anything. Hopefully it's entertaining for you. Oh, speaking of entertaining, hey, can you name this song? Ready? But wait, I did that wrong. What is that? Right? Dynamite. That's how I feel. Dynamite. Dynamite by Tal Cruz. Anyway, my kids in school love it when I play that song. And I try to teach them how to do it too, because you know what? Who doesn't want to play a pop tune on a recorder, right? All right. Big hugs from Kansas City. Cheers. Uh, subscribe. Put your uh, comments down below. Tell me where I'm right. Tell me where I'm wrong. Love you guys and be good out there. All right. Take care. Bye bye.